Hey, what is up guys? It's Arnik and in this week's quick tip tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can easily bend the roads similar as seen in Nolan's 2010's Inception. While maybe not quite as elaborate, this method does work in more complex alterations as well. So now, without any further ado, let's go. So here we are in Adobe After Effects. And what you can see here is the base footage that we are working on today. I shot this time lapse a couple of days ago on a rooftop bar in Helsinki. Unfortunately, it was extremely windy that day. It, it even moved my camera from time to time. So my clip is somewhat shaky, which is less than ideal. But come on, happens, right? Just make sure you do a better job at this than I did. Anyways, back to topic. For this to work best, you want to have a clip that is fairly symmetrical, with all the leading lines flowing into a single spot somewhere back in the center. Now, first thing you gotta do is to take the base clip and pre-compose it. Hold on Ctrl and Alt on PC or Command and Option on Mac and hit C on your keyboard. Call it Base Clip, make sure Move All Attributes is selected and we do not need to open this composition at all, so deselect that and click OK. Select the new comp in the timeline and duplicate it with Ctrl or Command D and pre-compose that layer again. Call it something like cropped because we always label our layers. Check open new comp and click OK. Next to the preview resolution selector hit the region of interest button. Now you can simply drag a box around whichever region you actually want to bend later on. Mine will be something like this, maybe. Go to Composition and choose Crop Comp to Region of Interest. And I guess you can figure out yourself what that does. Go back into your main comp, highlight the cropped layer, put it back into place where it belongs and search for the effect Corner Pin. By the way, the tool that I'm using here is called Effects Console from Video Copilot, which I highly recommend to check out if you're regularly working with different effects in After Effects. It is an incredible time saver. Corner Pin essentially lets you reposition the layer's corners and that way move it into new shapes. For our results, we want the street to run straight down. Either do so roughly by eye or use guides to really make it straight. Hit Ctrl or Command R to bring up the rulers and simply drag the guides from the side into the frame. Move the corner pins around until the lines are perfectly straight. We're almost there, but it does feel a little off. To add a little more realism, let's darken the bended part of our clip. Create a new adjustment layer by simply hold down Ctrl and Alt on PC or Command and Option on Mac and hit Y on your keyboard. Add a curves adjustment and simply darken the overall image by just a bit. Double click the rectangle tool to add a mask, framing the whole composition. And now simply move the mask down until it only covers the bended part of the street. Finally, to remove this ugly mess on the sides, let's crop the main comb until we only see the parts we want to be visible. In my case, I'm going with the comb setting of 1080 by 1920 to use it in my Instagram stories later. Well, and there you have it. Sometimes the simple things get you to the results. Are there individuals you would like me to break down in the future? Drop them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't get... <laughs> Donkey Kong the smash button. No, the like button. <laughs> if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already, and ring that bell for a new video every week. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers!